The Second World War was a global conflict in which the countries of the world were divided into two military alliances, the Axis powers and the Allies. The seeds of this war were sown in the unfinished and unresolved conflict of the First World War and division of Germany by creating the Polish Corridor. It was this political ideology that prompted Hitler to initiate the occupation of Poland, marking the event as a historical part of the World War II. In Britain, the Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain had declared that if Poland would be attacked, then Britain and France would come to its aid. Hitler signed a secret pact of non-aggression with Stalin of Soviet Union. This pact had a secret agenda. The division of Eastern Europe, Poland in particular. On the 1st of September 1939, in what was to become the first military engagement of World War II, Poland was attacked by land and air. German Luftwaffe, the most experienced and well-trained air force in the world, and well-trained Nazi troops were used. Blitzkrieg, or the lightning attack as it is called, added an element of subtleness and surprise. Poland was the next soon after. Two days later, Britain, France, Australia and New Zealand retaliated and declared war on Germany. On the Eastern Front, keeping the terms of the agreement, the Soviet Red Army attacked the Eastern Poland and occupied it. Both Germany and Soviet Russia ended their relationship with the League of Nations. A lull occurred in Europe before the storm and between the months of September 1939 and April 1940. There was a period of waiting and watching, popularly known as the Phony War. Hitler's troops occupied Denmark and landed in Norway port, thus proving the claim of a phony war. Blitzkrieg again led to successful results for Hitler and quickly occupied Holland and Belgium in May. Luftwaffe attacks on British and French-based Dunkirk increased. Hitler unleashed with fury his blitzkrieg invasion on France in May 1940. Paris was captured on 14th of June and France surrendered on 22nd of June. The fall of France was the greatest feather in Hitler's cap. On June 22nd, the signing of the armistice took place in the same rail coach where representatives of defeated Germany had signed the surrender in 1918 at the end of World War I. William Shira, a radio reporter of CBS News, reported live saying, Hitler's face is a fire with scorn, anger, hate, revenge and triumph. Britain now stood alone against the German-dominated Europe with only 25 miles of English Channel separating it.
the Germans amassed 16,000 troops, an equal number of tanks to secure the beaches across the channel. This operation was termed as the Sea Lion. They were to be supported by an air offensive by the Luftwaffe. One of the famous battles of World War II was fought in the air when German Luftwaffe under Goring tried to destroy Royal Air Force prior to invasion of Britain. What the Germans had failed to anticipate was the air supremacy of the Royal Air Force of Britain. Day after day, the British successfully repelled the German offensives, causing the Germans to lose twice as many as planes and finally abort the mission. Winston Churchill declared, never before in the human history was so much owed by so many to so few. Hitler now turned his attention towards Russia. A six-week campaign called Operation Barbarossa was to be initiated. Planning of this operation was carried out at Adolf Hitler's residence at Berghof in Germany during a high-level conference. In Russia, Stalin repeatedly ignored the signs and warnings. Instead, he sent Molotov, his Prime Minister, to Berlin for further talks. The talks proved unsuccessful and soon a massive blitzkrieg attack was launched at the daybreak of June 22, 1941. It was planned using three army groups. One army group marching in the north and attacking Leningrad was led by Field Marshal von Lieb. The army group in the center, moving towards Moscow, was commanded by General Field Marshal von Bock. And finally, the army group moving south towards Ukraine was commanded by General Field Marshal von Brunstedt. In Russia, one after another, city fell to the German onslaught. Minsk, Leningrad, Kiev, Odessa, Kharkov, and Rostov were completely annihilated and destroyed. The German army pushed towards Moscow, but the heavy Russian winter exhausted and immobilized it. By the summer of 1942, on Hitler's orders, the Germans who suffered many losses entered Stalingrad, a city named after Hitler's arch enemy, Stalin. On the other hand, in December 1941, 
the Japanese launched a brilliantly organized attack against the USA under Admiral Yamamoto. Three hundred and fifty three Japanese planes arrived undetected at US naval base Pearl Harbor. Destruction was swift and brutal, after which America joined the Second World War. Both the Germans and the Japanese were ruthless in the treatment of their enemies. The German offensive came under check in the summer of 1942 at El Alamein and Stalingrad. The Battle of Stalingrad took place in the month of September 1942. It was known to be the turning point in the timeline of the Second World War. For simple reasons of morale, the Russians could not let the city fall and a massive countermeasure was launched by the Red Army. Over 90,000 German troops in Stalingrad surrendered to the Soviet Army on January 31, 1943. They were sent to Russian camps. US and British troops arrived at Sicily by ships and planes from Africa on the 10th of June 1943. The troops quickly captured Salerno, Reggio, Toronto and Naples by October 1943. Marshal Badoglio signed the armistice and Italy now turned on Allies' side. Discussions on offensive and recapture of lost territories were planned between the Allies. The Big Three, Stalin, Roosevelt, and Churchill met at Tehran to discuss about the attack. The D-Day was decided upon and Operation Overlord was launched on Tuesday 6th of June 1944. The US troops landed on a beach at Normandy in France. The operation was the largest and heaviest invasion, involving around 1,60,000 troops along the coast that stretched over 80 kilometers. It was a great success and Paris was liberated on 25th of August 1944. Hitler made one last attempt to win back his lost power. However, in what is called the Battle of the Bulge, the Nazi offensive proved to be unsuccessful with the possibility of victory nowhere in sight. The final chapter of the Third Reich began in the summer of 1945. The Soviet Red Army entered the heart of the German territory, crushing the German resistance. It began by encircling Berlin and slowly tightening its strangling hold 
over the remaining Nazi defenders. The fall of Berlin was imminent. The terms of surrender were signed by German officers, General Alfred Jodl in Reims in France, and by the Field Marshal Kietl at the Russian headquarters in Berlin on May 9, 1945, bringing an end to one of the bloodiest battles in the history of warfare. By this time, Japan still remained a menace for Allies in Pacific and Southeast Asia. Allies decided to give a severe blow to Japan by a single attack. Thus, the US decided to avenge the Japanese attack in the Pearl Harbor by dropping the atomic bombs on the twin cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. D-Day was decided as August 6th, 1945. The bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. It killed 84,000 people. Three days later, Nagasaki met with a similar fate. Japan surrendered. The war ended changing the multipolar world into a bipolar one. The United States and Soviet Union became two important superpowers. Germany was partitioned into four zones of occupation by the Allies. The UN officially came into existence on October the 24th, 1945. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted as a common standard of achievement for all people and all nations. Nations will rise and fall, but equality remains the ideal. The universal aim is to achieve respect for the entire human race, not just for the dominant few.